All right, welcome back. Our statement reads, suppose the field inside a piece of magnetic material is B0, so that H0, the auxiliary field, is equal to 1 over mu0 B0 minus the magnetization M, where M is the frozen in magnetization. A, now a small spherical cavity is hollowed out of the material. Find the field at the center of the cavity in terms of B0 and M. Also find H at the center of the cavity in terms of H0 and M. B, do the same thing for a long needle-shaped cavity running parallel to M. And C, do the same for a wafer-shaped cavity perpendicular to M. Okay, so we've kind of seen this before with the electrostatic case and polarization. But nonetheless, let's go back and look at our diagram. Uh, we have a sphere, a needle, and a wafer with magnetization running up. Okay. So now we we'll just jump on in. The field of the magnetized sphere is two thirds mu naught m. Okay, so we just put that together. Therefore, b is equal to b naught minus, since we have to remove it, two thirds mu naught m. And with the sphere removed in the cavity, therefore we have h equal one over mu naught b. So now we just plug in the b that we found and let the algebra uh, sift its way through. Again, uh, we see that we have h naught is equal to 1 over mu naught b naught, so we substitute that in for b naught, and um, yeah, we just simplify it through, and then we see that h naught equals 1 third m, and we'll do the same thing for the needle and the wafer. As you see in the other two, we have bound currents, so we see that we have kb running um, with the field direction negative, and kb running field direction negative on the surface for the wafer and the needle. So moving forward, the field of the long solenoid is mu naught k, where k equals m. Okay, of course, that makes sense. So the field of the bound current on the surface, bound current on the inside surface of the cavity is mu naught m pointing down, which is what we saw in the diagram. Therefore, b is equal to b naught minus mu naught m, and we simplify through once again, showing that h equal h naught. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. We don't have any material there. So C, this time the bound currents are small and far away from the center instead of being the needle, which is on top of the center. While, um, so B equal B naught, while H equal one over mu naught, B naught. So subs through N and we see that the applied field or, or auxiliary field is equal to the uh, H naught plus the magnetization, which we'll see some sketches soon of where all this what all this means.